two, one. Everybody, good afternoon. This is Rena with 1111 Revelation. And I'm going to be taking us today to 1 Kings chapter 2. And um, this was something that I didn't know I was going to be doing. I did last night, okay, but I forgot. I forgot about it. And... Uh, so we're going to do it real quick, okay? And I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to get to the verses. And the verses are important. They are a very important I need for you all to hear, okay? So this is what we're going to do. 1 Kings chapter 2, the Sons of the Prophets tour. We are on the Sons of the Prophets tour. Holy Spirit, speak freely as you will, and you always do. I allow it, and I love the Holy Spirit and Father God and Jesus, all three in one. Please join me in prayer. First of all, everybody, every day, please take and put on the whole armor of Jesus and stand there for having your loins girt about with the truth. And uh, having the breastplate of righteousness on and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation, putting that thing on so you can quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, every scheme and plot and gin and snare, every contract Every single communication, counteroffensive weaponry, blueprint, attack strategy, slander, dark forces, the light of the enemy, satanic agents, right? Fallen angels, unclean spirits, puppets, and agents of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is destroyed at the root of conception. It is torn up by the name of Jesus <laughs> bound up and cast back to the dry places where it belongs to be bound there in the name of Jesus Christ and not return. The sword of the spirit dashes and dices and chops your ears off and your eyes out and your heads off. Amen. <laughs> I'm in the mood today, you guys. I'm in the mood, okay? I just got off of work and I'm happy. I'm happy. I had a great day at work. Um... A lot of you have been saying that you can't hear me, but I'm going to speak up. Uh, I wanted to ask Father in Heaven, please, uh, could you please saturate and uh, just your glory, your Son's glory, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, hedge in the believers that are watching this, hedge them in. Hedge, put a hedge around their homes, in the airspace, in the atmosphere, above their homes. And I ask that you would loosen and hasten holy warring angels down to surround them where they're at. And also here where I am at. And I thank you, Father God. Thank you. Jesus is so good, you guys. He's so good. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get this to... All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Now, uh, 1 Kings chapter 2. Uh, let's see here. T -t 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 -t. Am I in the right place? Let's see. No, I'm not. 2 Kings chapter 2 is where I need to be. Page 555. I will never forget when the Lord named this channel. Okay, you guys, a couple years back. 1111 Raptured Saints was the first channel, okay? And he told me to go open the Bible. And I opened it up to page 555, and it was at 2 Kings chapter 2. And so we're going to read it. The Holy Spirit brought it up to me last night. And the Sons of the Prophet Tour, Prophets Tour, is what we're doing and um i don't know really what that means i just know that that's what i was told so i'm gonna read second kings chapter two and it came to pass when the lord would take up elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that elijah went with elisha from gagel and elijah said unto elisha tarry here i pray thee for the lord has sent me to bethel and Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. 
and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yes, I know it. Keep your peace. Hold your peace, please. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came on to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Terry, I pray thee, hear, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off. And the two stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither so that they went, they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, the horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw it. Can you guys imagine seeing that? And Elijah saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he took him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell down from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Praise God, praise Yah. And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw, Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves down to the ground before him. And they said unto him, Behold now, there be with thy fifty, the servants fifty, strong men. Let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master. Lest peradventure the spirit of the Lord have taken him up and cast upon cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, he shall not send. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send. They sent therefore fifty men, and they sought three days, but found him not. Okay, guys. Elijah was raptured in a whirlwind up into the heavens to the Lord. Okay? That is what I wanted to tell you. We're on the Sons of the Prophets tour. So, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing because we've been on this tour for quite a while, but it's coming to an end. It's a long tour, guys. We're on a long tour. Just think about all these musicians that go on tours, and sometimes they go on tours for two years, right? Well, we're on a little bit of a lengthy tour. But we are okay, guys. The Lord is with us everywhere we go.
Okay, so, okay, I'm going to get to the verses that I need to. Uh, this is very important, okay? If you want to please come with me, we're going to start at Amos 8 9. And I mean, I could just read you off the verses, guys, but I really don't think that that would be good. I think I should just read them to you, okay? So Amos 5 9, here we go. Amos 8, 9. I'm so sorry. I'm giving you a moment. Please turn your pages to Amos chapter 8, verse 9. And here we are. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Okay? Now, Amos 5, chapter 5, verse 20. Ready? Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it? Joel is the next book. Please move on to Joel. Sorry, guys. I know Joel is back here. Obadiah, Amos, Amos, Amos. Okay, Joel, chapter 2. I'm giving you a second here. Chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 2 through 10. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so they shall run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained, all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible and who can abide it actually I was supposed to read through 15 sorry therefore also now saith the Lord turn ye even to me with all your heart and fasting with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of evil, the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God? Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. That always reminds me of the eighth day, guys. The eighth day. The eighth day. 
Okay, there's two celebrations, you guys. You might want to, if you want, correct me. I'm always open. I, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you think. Uh, but two of the Lord's festivals are eight days. Um, uh, one, the Passover lasts maybe a little longer, but I believe that it is a full eight days during the Passover and then the fall feast as well. There's an eight day. See, the thing is, is in Revelation 12, guys, the child, the man child that's caught up before the dragon can devour that child. When you think about it, uh, according to Jewish custom, they don't name the baby until the eighth day. So I have a feeling, I'm not sure about it, but there is a week, seven days, a full seven days, where I believe that we will be testifying and we will be going out. Jesus said that we would do things just like he does, okay? And you can walk in the spirit and do those things now. Now, I'm telling you. But during this time, I'll get to Revelation 12 in a second, but I do want to finish what I was told to read. Okay, so Joel. Now we're going to go to Ezekiel. Please turn with me to Ezekiel. Chapter 32, please. Okay, Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 7 and 8. And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. All the bright lights of heaven will I make dark over thee, and set darkness upon thy land, saith the Lord God. Okay, now we can turn to Job, guys. Job chapter 5. Hey, babe. Okay, chapter 5, verse 14. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. Wow. Okay, that's Job. Now, Job chapter 12. Well, I'll do Job chapter 3 first. Job 3. Here we go. 4 through 9. Let that day be darkness. Let not God regard it from above, neither let the light shine upon it. Let darkness and the shadow of death stain it. Let a cloud dwell upon it. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. As for the night, as for that night, let darkness seize upon it. Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. Let it not come into the number of the mount months. Lo, let that night be solitary. Let no joyful voice come therein. Let them curse it that curse the day, who are ready to raise up their morning. Let the stars of the twilight thereof be dark. Let it look for light, but have none. Neither let it see the drawing of the day. Wow. Okay. Job 12, chapter 12. Okay, verses 24 and 25 of 12. Here we go. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grope in the dark without light. And he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Okay? Now we're going to go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 12. Here we go. Matthew 12. 39 and 41. See you ready? But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was, was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. All right? 
and uh, 41 is the man of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold a greater than Jonas is here okay Matt here we go verse let's see chapter 24 trying to hurry guys turned right to it awesome okay Matthew chapter 24 29 and 30 here we go immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of of heaven with power and great glory all right now we're going to Psalm 112. Psalm 112, verse 4. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Awesome. Psalm 91, 5 and 6. You guys can take a look at that. We're going to go to back to Matthew again. Sorry, guys. When I get these, they're like all over the place. Okay, I just... Here we go. Matthew 22, verse... Chapter 22 and verse 13. Here we go. Then, this is Jesus speaking... Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay, Second Peter 2 4. Okay, we're going to skip. I'll find it in just a second. Okay, Isaiah 63. Here we go, Isaiah 63. Verses 6 through 13, And I will tread down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord, and the praises of the Lord, according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he has be which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness for he said surely they are my people children that will not lie so he was their savior in all their affliction he was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity he redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. Okay. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old. Moses and his people saying, Where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where he, where is he that put his Holy Spirit within him, that led them by the right hand of Moses 
with his glorious arm, dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name that led them through the deep as an horse in the wilderness that they should not stumble. Hallelujah. Okay, so now Isaiah 26. I'm running to and fro through this thing, guys. All right. Isaiah 26. 